Welcome to Astro Dwarf Adventures. Thanks very much for watching this video. So as you can see, it's not dark yet, but we're going to get out and we're going to be doing some astrophotography of the Dumbbell Nebula. Right, okay, with that being said, let's go. It's a planetary nebula, which means it shows nebulosity around a white dwarf star. And it was actually the first such nebula discovered by Charles Messier back in 1764. Oh wow, would you look at that? Now at 1,360 light years away, it's practically in our backyard. And with a visual magnitude of 7.5 and a diameter of 8 arc minutes, it's highly visible with even a good set of binoculars. So of course with a Dwarf 2 telescope, this is going to hopefully give us a really nice image. When it's dark, we'll get onto the Dwarf 2, we'll get it set up, and let's see if we can't get some cracking images of the Dumbbell Nebula. Right, okay, with that being said, let's go. Okay, we've got the Dwarf 2 uh, software open. I'm pointing myself at a fairly bright star, and I'm going to put, use the Batonoff mask, again, the link for that in the description below, to create a Batonoff star. And you can see I'm moving the central point of that star central line back and forward until I get right in the middle then I know I'm in focus uh, yeah th I think that's looking pretty good there so let's go into calibration so let's calibrate now when we're nicely in focus we don't normally have a problem sometimes the calibration will fail if you're not properly in focus but yeah that's on the second image first one was fine on to the third image and we should be calibrated without any problems Yep, that's calibrated beautifully. Now let's um, put this round to um, the Dumbbell Nebula. Let's just find that, M27, there we go. Slewing round to that. Fantastic, right, that's us there. We're gonna set the um, exposure and the gain, uh, 15 seconds and 80, and okay. I should see that, yeah, that's better. Now let's start imaging. So that's a stack and you can see here, I'm just moving it around. I'm, I'm trying to get a nice image to leave it on for the rest. I'm going to speed this up for you. I had to be playing with this stretch there and the light curves. Yeah, we're happy with that. We'll leave it there and we'll let that just start to stack up. Uh, for some reason, the number of images taken and the number of images stacked for the live view don't seem to add up, but that doesn't matter. All the images are there. Now, obviously, that was just a quick few images. It was 100 shots that I was able to take of the Dumbbell Nebula. Though, if you notice, it didn't actually stack them all. I think it only stacked about 85 of them. So what I'll do is I'll do a bit of post-processing and I'll show you the before image, just as it came right off the dwarf as a stacked image. And I'll show you it post-processed as well. Hopefully, we get a bit more clarity and resolution. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like and subscribe. It really helps my little channel. Now, if you want any of the items I've made for the Dwarf 2, telephoto lens adapter or the solar filters, uh, or indeed the baton of mass I made, you can find the link to them in the description below. It all helps my channel, so thanks very much for your support. But even a like and a subscribe if you haven't already to make sure you don't miss any future content. And don't forget to look up, because you just don't know what you're going to see. Take care, thanks guys.